What's up, everybody? Once again, if you guys haven't checked out the Discord, which I'm showcasing right here, make sure you guys join the Discord link. will be down below in the description. Just want to let you guys know this is for communication purposes for the College Football 25 Online Dynasty League that I'm going to be hosting. And, you know, it's just another way to communicate with me and others and just chill and ask questions and much more. Get updated as well. So, Thank you guys for all those that have joined so far. Also, see this tab right here, exclusive content. We have nothing but Madden 25 gameplay footage and much more. So if you guys are looking forward to seeing that, it's all on the Discord. All you guys got to do is just join and check it out. So head over there once again. Link is down below in the description to join. It's so odd to me that, you know, the individuals for content creators on YouTube that had early access or got flown out to play the game early, which I already broke down from a comp player standpoint that broke down to me his opinion and things that continuously work, things that don't work anymore from his gameplay perspective. But for just the basic casual content creators that, you know, just play the game for fun, play it on arcade mode don't play it competitively i mean i feel like those people shouldn't be able to test the game or give feedback whatsoever but that's just me now you take it into consideration like i said in my recent video why does the community get able to of course get select a few that had signed up for the beta testing get the chance to play man 25 beta but there was no beta nothing no demo for the community to get a chance to play college football 25 early and possibly give some feedback it made me very skeptical because of course i understand it's promotion right ea has always done that their focus is to hype the game up get it out there to be promoted correctly like for the people that got to play the game early they are limited to what they're able to say and it's nothing but positivity, even though they're giving their opinionated views. I watched the majority of those videos, and not one of them talked about a lot of the gameplay. They talked about certain new aspects or things that's kind of like revamped or tweaked in a way. But outside of that, like I said, comp players are the only players that are able to really deep dive with that experience because... If you're giving it to ca casual, like, average players that don't really take the game seriously, they're not going to really define the gameplay aspect. Like, for College Football 25, they should have done what Maximum Football has done, even though, you know, the game is far from where it should be at, and of course they're continuously to build upon, but at least for College Football 25, give us a demo. Give us the previous two teams from last year in the college championship game and just let us play for at least one quarter you guys don't even have to you know reveal all the new features and stuff just limit it to certain things that's available to be seen in the demo at least give us something as a community to test out like i'm not trying to bash the game right i'm hyped for this game because i got hyped from what i have been showcased and what EA has told us and we've been waiting great right? but I don't want to have that same feeling when I'm getting my hands on experience getting a lot of raging moments because of similarities to Madden like I said in a recent video of course the game's not going to be similar it's to a degree where we're going to see a bunch of new stuff and things of course adapted to the college way but if we're getting the cosmetics look of what we're getting from Madden which of course that's pretty much what we're getting but from the tradition the atmosphere it's all the college way right but i'm focused so heavily on gameplay i don't want to have the fact where you know like i said in my recent couple videos where if i have a dominating receiver right top overall he shouldn't be getting locked up by some bum. We have seen this previously over the years with Madden where players don't really um, differ from overall. The overalls didn't really matter. Like, 
I can dominate with some bum team or bum players against top tier players. That shouldn't be happening. Like the ratings, the overall difference should literally separate from each other. Or even from speed. There's certain times at Madden where I've seen slow players catch up to speed receivers. Like that shouldn't be happening. No matter where they're at, even if they don't take an angle properly, they're catching up to me, even though my stamina is still up there. It made no sense whatsoever. Like, that's the little examples that I don't want to experience when it comes to College Football 25. Now, as far as for features, like I said, with the wear and tear system, it's brand new. Why are they going to have a setting in like dynasty mode to turn that off for people that don't want to have that experience or even like with the um precision passing the passing um user interface that pops up when you pass the ball the meter like why is that option to turn it off like i understand people don't like that but it's a freaking feature experience the new feature that's supposed to be game changing but yeah enough ranting i just wish you know that we had like some type of early play as a community. It's kind of weird that they didn't take that approach and they kept the same method for Madden, which tells me that, you know, Madden continuously is going to be pretty much the same garbage game. Of course, with the slight new features that we also have in College Football 25. And it's also letting us know that for sure, College Football 25 is going to play completely different, which we hope for, but who knows, we won't really know for sure once we get our hands-on experience. Um, but from what we've seen so far, which you guys have seen all the gameplay footage right here, there are some things that literally are exactly the same. Like, there was moments where I seen a lineman just standing there and not blocking a soul or helping out in a double team. When it's like a four-man rush, at least you should see, you know... Three people actually blocking, probably a double team happening. Even if you have an extra uh, blocker, should have two players double teaming and the rest individual um, matchups. You shouldn't see people just standing around. So I still see that from time to time in some of these clips. You guys might point that out, timestamp it, but you guys will see it in today's video with the gameplay footage officially from EA Sports themselves. Overall, for Dynasty League, I'm really stoked for it um, because for multiple seasons, each season, everybody's team is going to be completely different now with the transfer portal being like a huge part. People can just up and leave your school like that's going to be a big game changer. Imagine for the first season, right? You do so well recruiting and you get like a couple five star caliber players at certain positions that you really wanted and the next season they just decide to up and leave because you didn't accomplish their goals their wants and needs and that's going to be huge even with offensive defensive or head coaching um just the coaches in general after whatever the contract is up they can literally leave your team to go to another school to either get another same coordinator job or head coaching position job and you know trying to refill what you build on that certain coach with the skill trees and just to lose it just like that is huge so this is why i'm looking forward to just the dynasty because this is so deep detail of how they done it to keep it balanced to not make everybody op and it gives a chance for people also to not just stick with one team. They can continuously ch to change different teams based off, you know, if they want to go build another team or start with a brand new team because, you know, you've done a certain job or done decent enough with that specific team that you started off with, you can go do that somewhere else and try to help out that college to do better and things of that sort. So this is like really great. And also... It defines who's actually great when it comes to playing each other. It's not just like head to head where you're playing the same teams over and over, which is the OP teams. I know you guys got to get tired of that shit. Like with Madden in general, you're going to be using the top overall team with all the super best superstar players. Like, doesn't that get boring to y'all? And 
you know, finally that they're adding this tier system and improving on the head-to-head -head, uh, rankings, records, whatever, which is actually going to matter instead of just how many games have been played early and, you know, the win-losses didn't actually matter. Now that matters and hopefully now that people are able to use a variety of teams is really going to matter if they do get an upset against a top team it's going to showcase so i'm glad that they fixed that but dance these words that it's really where it separates everybody and there's so much to do in dynasty mode that's going to be standing out for everybody to enjoy and love like i said it's nothing but building your team over Throughout the course of time, whatever your contract is, throughout the season, trying to maintain that team, trying to keep all your players happy, and trying to keep them to stay on your team, that's a hard process. And then even playing through the wear and tear system, like, it's going to limit people from abusing the same plays or, you know, using a certain player every single time, every single play, the same way, getting abused, um... It's going to really teach people how to get away from the way that they've been used to with Madden's playstyle. They have to completely change it, go back to simulation play. It's going to be a big difference, and I'm really looking forward to that. It really separates the difference between great players in every category from a user perspective. Like, you might be good at recruiting, but you might not be the best at gameplay, you know, strategy calling when it comes to head-to-head -to -head matches. Or you may be a dominant comp player, not the best at recruiting, but, you know, you can do subpar at recruiting or getting transfers, and then, you know, your play backs up. You may make, like, bum players play actually good, and you can pull off a couple upset wins against top team schools or get a winning record, like, there's so much different elements that I'm going to be able to get to see from all of you guys that do join the Online Dynasty League. So, once again, make sure you guys check out the Discord. Link is down below in the description so you guys can get into this league. Now, I may host two leagues depending on how much people join just so I can also use another team to start off. For those that don't know, I'm using the Gamecock South Carolina. Try to build that team. And dominate. So my goal with that team is to at least win a couple championships, get them up there to a five-star uh, school, and then after that, depending on how I do, probably after four or five years, transfer to another team and do the rebuilding stage once again. So it's nothing but rebuilding for me. Some people may try to accomplish goals like be the best recruiter for the schools, like. He's the best at recruiting or try to build an offense that's like the best passing offense every single season, best rushing offense, or somebody's trying to be dominant on defense every single year. So everybody has their different goals that they're trying to achieve for their college and the way they play. So I'm really looking forward to that. So you guys are going to see my whole setup of how I'm going to be doing the college football 25 online dynasty league. I'm really going to break down everybody's perspective, um, do like a recap review of every single team, how they done from week to week. So I'm going all in for the Dynasty League, y'all. I'm really looking forward to how you guys are going to be playing in the league. I'm also looking forward to seeing, you know, what are the capabilities of certain individuals turning like a trash school around and seeing if they can make the playoffs like could you imagine seeing a few of the users in the league turn around a trash team and literally get them to the playoffs and possibly have a chance to compete for the national championship that's going to blow my mind so anyways let me know what you guys think down below in the comments what are your guys goals for coaching if you guys do join the league or if you're just going to play solo by yourself in dynasty mode what is your guys' go-to modes that you're going to be playing? Ultimate Team, Head to Head, Road to Glory, whatever the case may be. Just let me know everything down below in the comment section. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. And once again, if you guys haven't joined the Discord 
link is down below in the description make sure you guys do that if you're going to join the league or if you guys just want to chill talk ask questions it's another way to communicate with your boy and others until next time i'll see you guys later and i'm out peace